everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. It's hard to imagine this not being a fun game to watch. It's the Colts going up against the Jets. The opening kick is straight ahead, so it's time to turn it over to my colleagues, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis with the call. Gentlemen. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. This will be fielded at the 8. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And a look at the man under center. Now in his eighth season in the National Football League. First down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And the dreaded face mask penalty, that's going to cost him 15 yards. And it's such a dangerous play. Body going one way, and then your head gets yanked back the other. 15 yards is the right call. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is caught inside the five. A pickup there of 36. And the Jets are going to have it first and goal. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, That'll drive a team towards a victory. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. So often you hear defensive coaches talk about we need all 11 on every play in order to be a good run-stopping unit, and sometimes it starts to sound a little cliche, but did you see the free safety on that play? Knifing through and running down the ball carrier. A huge, huge play, and when you have a free safety who can run like that, you've got to turn him loose. Look to throw on third and goal. It's a four-yard pickup, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Now the Jets will call on the field goal unit here. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. And the first three points of the night belong to our home team as they get the field goal on the game's initial drive. A good, solid drive. It didn't wind up in the end zone, but that's okay. You've got something positive on the board, and you've got the early lead. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. carry there second and eight and here's a look at the starting offense oh, 
And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now a handoff here to his running back. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. Tough spot for the offense, third and eight. gun they'll look to throw and he's got his man on the out route just a five-yard pickup and it leads to fourth down he wasn't the primary target but i think it was almost like a, a check down situation wasn't it yeah hoping he can break some tackles a big tight end but he couldn't do it yeah get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done this is brought in at the 21 <laughs> And to give this time to the tailback. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. No matter what defense is called versus a running play, linebackers are telling the defensive guys up front, you take care of the offensive line, keep us uncovered, let us run to the ball, we'll make big plays. Well, that paid off there. All the guys up front, the big fellas, they controlled the five offensive linemen. That allowed the linebackers to just see the openings, sprint through the gap, and snuff that play out in a hurry. He'll drop to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Well, we saw the practice film this week. They wanted to focus on these intermediate passing plays, and it paid off there. And they took that focus not just to the practice field, but in the film room to show the guys exactly what they wanted, what types of looks they should expect to get, and how they would beat those coverages each and every time. And it paid off on that play. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard, but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play? Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's got time. Look at the time. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were... the situation upcoming second quarter third down and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt the Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down a bullet throw but incomplete and now the Colts call on their field goal unit here spotted at the left hash this from 45 and this is right down the middle as he puts it through and they are on the board, trailing. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. 
They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They'll set up a throw, and he will find his man on the outside. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh set of downs. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? That's caught inside the 20. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Colts have taken the lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you. to go in this first half. Just inside of two minutes for this offense. Second quarter. They've got the football, but on their own side of the field. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he comes back with one complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Ah! Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got him for a sack it'll go as a loss of about six and now it brings up third so it's third and six and this will be the eighth play of the drive well that play was the very definition of fast quick and in a hurry suddenly he was there yeah blink of an eye that happened fast and a big sack and he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense it's just their first so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime on play action, they'll throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, 
When you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. They'll look to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. When teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. situation brewing this defense on their heels a little bit as they get set to defend a first and 10 with the ball at the 16. Shift together here from the D line. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. We have a red zone situation brewing. This defense on their heels a little bit as they get set to defend a first and 10 with the ball at the 16. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now back to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move? defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. Defense sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have lost. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead.
They give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here from the right hash. And this one just a chippy. And his kick here is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so you needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal then maybe not exactly what they wanted, but it's a necessary first step. Still plenty of time remaining, but you could really use a stop defensively after the kickoff, preferably a three and out. It's a short kick, taken near the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Indianapolis set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Getting late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll look to throw. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slant. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. So barring something extraordinary, something crazy here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Brandon, this will be a great win for them. The better team's going to win this game, no question about it. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Come on, let's go! Let's and another timeout taken by the Colts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I got one, I got one. Let's go! White nine! White nine! They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. 
Yeah, they said forget the underneath route they went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And that play was what every defense is wary of. The big strike attempted downfield, but they were in excellent position. They didn't get fooled, and while he didn't come up with the interception, was able to bat the ball down. Here we go! One, nine, three. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Surveying the field. All kinds of time. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. As time has run out on this ball game. Well, Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, Oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So for Indianapolis, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. And, and they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.